Baltimore City right now who have real political power insofar as the numbers of people who hold political office. So, you know, I don't, I just dismiss that kind of crap. I mean, why, again, my question is, why was he on their, on, on, on their property? I mean, why was he there? He claims he was jogging by. Well, hell, you're a good mile and a half from the Conaways. Why are you just jogging by? And the statement I just gave you delineates my concern about the police involvement and the state's attorney who wants to make this, and my statement says he wants to make it a show trial. Okay. And uh, so what I'm going to do when we get up here, I'm going to read the statement. I've got a little bullhorn here. I'm going to read the statement that I, uh, all of you have. And uh, what I'm going to ask my, my sister and my brothers to do is basically we're going to pass out copies of the statement of the, the statement that I gave you uh, about this situation uh, to neighbors. I'm not going to engage in, since I'm organizing this, I'm not going to engage in any fight with neighbors. If they want to take the statement of opinion, fine. I'm going to the next door and hand it to them. I mean, I'm not going to get into no longer. The statement speaks for itself. I will use the bullhorn. If neighbors complain about the bullhorn and the police enter the picture, then I will not use it. But I'm going to use it until such time as people complain about it. Because the duration of this demonstration is for one hour. <laughs> so it ain't no... And you're, you're taking this to his house because he went to Mr. Powell. That is correct. What's good for the goose is good for the gander. You know, uh, he has to understand that, uh, and I understand he's a Jewish man. Uh, that's my understanding. Well, when you combine what Item has done with what the Wordersheim boys, the Wordersheim brothers did with Sham Rim, if you're familiar with this, this is outrageous. I'm, again, the state's attorney says he's not pro-Jewish, although he's Jewish, and that he's not partisan. But the Wordersheim boys have not, have yet to be prosecuted. They've had five postponements. February the 1st is the next hearing date, and they're well, going to try to... Uncommon. I mean, postponements are city. Postponements well, in the city is uncommon. They give you postponements okay. so you don't get the but story it, it, right. To me, it's a circus kind of atmosphere surrounding enforcement of law. And most recently, and I was shocked, this happened, the, what, the day before yesterday, when the, when the white fella... Uh, shot and killed, right. or this week yeah, earlier, you know, shot and killed this guy uh, in Baltimore, and he's been out on bail twice. What's the guy's name? Brandon? Brandon Mitchell. I can't understand this. I can't get this through my head. So the state's attorney's office said, well, it's the judge. As much mouth as he has. I'm talking about Bernstein. I expect Bernstein, at the least, to criticize the judge for his uh, irresponsible conduct and ineptitude, and, and Bernstein is not saying a damn thing, okay? He's got a whole lot of excuses on why they're not doing what they should be doing. And so I, I'm, I'm outraged by that. What should Bernstein be doing? Bernstein should be prosecuting those who perpetrate acts of, of bullying and, and trespass and threats to, to black people and black families and black leaders in particular. That, that's my concern. So let's, let's start walking Should up. he distribute the law equally amongst all people, not just because of the color of their skin or their political connections? Well, he should, but apparently he isn't. So <laughs> so what is our message to Bur What is your message to Bernstein? Get on the track with justice. Make justice a living reality. Do the right thing and stop being prejudicial in your conduct, in the conduct of your affairs. Uh, Bernstein, okay, well, do your job or lose your job?